Fellows, let's learn how to conduct CFA in MS. In step number one, we select the data. So here is how we select the data. Then let's view the variables. So these are the variables available in the data. So we see, so we have three constructs. So we create three constructs here. Then we need to create items or the indicator for each construct. So the first one has four, collect four times, then it has three, three times, but then also three times. So then it is selected, and now we assign these indicators to their respective constructs. So AC is effective commitment, PI is turnover intention, and PR is performance. Let's give the names so PR, TI, and this one is AC. So let me bring it a little bit down. How we do it? Select this one. So then use this truck to bring it here. Select it and then rotate it. And also rotate it. Now we need to label these unobserved variables. How we do it? Logins and name unobserved variables. So all variables got their names. Now we need to establish covariance. How we do it? Select these three constructs, go to the plugins and draw covariance. So you will see all are done. Then deselect. So now make some selections in the output file. How we do it? Output here, modification indices, then test of normality. Let's run it. Analyze, calculate, estimates. Yes, running. Yeah, once it's turned green, so that means analysis will completely click it. So you would see these are the loadings. Remember, these are standardized loadings. If you want to view unstandardized ones, so then click this ones. But I am more interested in standardized ones. So just to view these ones, so we find that all are fine except this ones. Here also all fine. Here are all fine. So let me consider removing this variable. So PR4, let me remove it. And then rerun the analysis. Yeah, it's done green. Now let me view the text output file. So here is the text output file. So before I move on to view the model fit indices, let me first view the assessments of normality. So you see skewness values are within acceptable range. Cultos is also. So no issue as far as normality is concerned. Now let me view the model fit. CMIM particular freedom. Fine, it's within acceptable range. GFI is fine, CFI is fine, and then IFI is fine. RMC is also fine, it should be less than 0 0.08. So this is how we conduct CFA in MS. Thanks for watching.